Hello and welcome to my second instalment of the DigiKeys preview. If you haven't seen my first instalment, which goes over the basics, I suggest you go and have a look at that video first. In this video, we want to cover AUM and all the routing possibilities uh, to connect up to third party AUV3 synth plugins. What you're listening to now is an example of DigiKeys running it in its standalone form and using its own internal audio engine. And that audio engine is based on the Chameleon Sampler engine. Now if you own Chameleon Sampler, you can take advantage of the fact that uh, DigiKeys can load uh, Chameleon presets directly from the Chameleon app. Um, if you notice on the uh, browser here, we've got a Chameleon button and uh, that gives direct access to the Chameleon preset, so it's a way of expanding the library. So let's take a look at AUM and how we output MIDI data from DigiKeys to your synths. As you can see here, I'm starting in AUM with a brand new project and I'm going to create an audio channel and add DigiKeys as an instrument on the audio channel. Now the easiest way to see MIDI mapping in action is to open the DigiStix uh, um, um, interface and load one of the default loops that comes with DigiStix. Now it relies on all internal samples ordinarily and what we're going to do is replace uh, one of the bass sounds with an external instrument. So we'll start by previewing the uh, the loop and then soloing out uh, the bass track and then we'll go and uh, do a substitution. So track 2 is currently mapped internally to a virus punch bass and we're going to remove this local sound source and uh, enable MIDI on this channel and then load a instrument into AUM and map from DigiKeys to that instrument. So the first thing is to find a suitable instrument. And in this case, we're going to load Audio Damages uh, Continuer plugin. Now the first thing we're going to want to do is to go back into DigiKeys and uh, open up the FX Out dialog and disable the local sound source and enable MIDI Out. Just to make it easy, I've solo track 2 uh, so that we, we don't get any other instruments playing while we uh, map a decent instrument in from Continua. Now if we, we return back to AUM and uh, press the hamburger menu on Continua, uh, we should be able to disable all the MIDI channels apart from two, which is the one we want to hear. And then just tap to enable MIDI input from DigiKeys. And hopefully that's all we need to do. Okay, that sounds reasonable. So let's try and map a second instrument. Um, maybe we've got a pad sound on track four. Maybe we can replace it with something from maybe uh, Audio Kits FM2. So as you can see here, I've actually loaded uh, the Audio Kit FM2 into a blank audio channel. And we just do the process again. So this is the internal audio preset we're going to replace, so it's just a question again of turning off the local sound source and turning on MIDI, and then uh, going back to the little hamburger menu on uh, FM2, uh, ensuring track 4 is enabled for MIDI in, and then uh, select DigiKeys. And there we have it, another external sound source connected to our project. So let's unsolo track 4 and see what it sounds like in context of the, of the loop. Now supposing the AUV3 plugin that uh, is connected to the destination MIDI channel supports note velocities, we can use the mixer to control the volume of that plugin. But not all of them do, beware. 
Now finally I want to take a look at using DigiKeys as a multi timbral instrument. So instead of it generating the MIDI, it's a sound source for the MIDI. And AUM with its flexible routings will allow us to do that. Now in this instance you can see I've loaded two uh, channels with Autony. And Autony is just a, a, a random pattern generator, so it creates random MIDI notes. And we're going to send those patterns to DigiKeys and assign them to two of the internal sounds. Now set up the two instances of Autony to transmit on channels 3 and 7. So we need to go into the respective FX out dialogues in DigiKeys and ensure MIDI in is enabled, which allows the mixer to actually control the input levels from the two versions of Autony. Now all we need to do is click on the hamburger menu of DigiKeys and enable the two versions of Autony as MIDI inputs. And now we should be able to use the mixer sliders 3 and 7 to control the uh, input levels for the... Don't forget this is not actually an audio mixer, it actually controls and scales note velocities. I guess that's just about it for this video. If you didn't see the first part, the first instalment, I suggest you go and have a look at that. But until next time, thanks for watching.